I'm Ian Cross from Swim Without Stress, building up the stages with a pupil of the front crawl using the Alexander technique. Here, attention to the head and neck improves the quality of the kick. The direction of the kick is better because the direction of the head and neck is better. Same on the back. Here, the pupil is just tightening his neck a little bit, and uh, the chin's the chin is you can see the chin's up. And here, I'm just trying to get him to let his head release out of his body a little bit more and again the quality of the kick improves and now moving on to kicking on the side working on the legs going forward in relation to the body and again tension to the head and neck the necks free the heads leading and the quality of the kick improves kicking forward in relation to the body as though footballs are in front of you. And now the pupil practices going from one side to the other, still thinking about the legs, integrating the legs into the stroke. And here, again, attention to the head and neck, neck free, head leading, and there's a better flow, more fluidity to the stroke. And here, after a bit of work from me, there's, there's more of a flow, there's more of a glide in the stroke because the neck is freer. Attention to the forward arm gliding, head staying nice and still, neck nice and free, produces freer arms coming out of a freer back. Gliding and letting the arm float up out of a free, open back. Here just talking about the direction of the arm and the spiralling nature of the arm. As it goes into the water, Steve Shaw idea, the, the arm goes into a thumbs up position so that we get more glide from the arm. Here we're kicking on the side with the face out of the water. This is the in preparation for the breathing position. We want to find a nice balanced position to breathe. So we're practicing now from the balanced breathing position, going back in and doing a couple of strokes. Tension to the head. Let the water support the head. And as you go back into the water, free the neck and let the head go. Freeing the neck and returning. Freeing the neck and returning. Arm nice and free, pointing where you want to go, freeing the neck and returning. And there, there's more glide. This is a really important skill because often this is where the stroke goes wrong. When we've breathed and we go back in, the stroke falls apart because we lose our direction. This pupil's doing very well with me here at returning with a nice free neck and continuing the flow of the stroke. A little bit of attention to the head and neck makes such a difference. It's also important to think about relaxing the jaw, especially when turning the head to breathe. Rotating the body, relaxing the jaw as you come into a breathing position. And here the pupil's keeping his neck nice and free as he goes back in.